First, you want to make sure that your area is nice and clean. Once it's nice and clean, you want to make sure you rinse it off. Then you want to stop the water from going down the drain and fill it up with warm, soapy water. Now you can gather all the baby's bottles and separate all of the attachments. If you would like, you can also soak the bottles for a few minutes, but this step is optional. When you're ready to begin washing your bottles, you want to make sure to have a good brush with a lot of bristles on it, such as this one. This one's from Munchkin. Uh, you want to go ahead and start scrubbing the bottle on the inside. But you also want to make sure to get the mouth of the bottle, as I'm showing you here, on the outside, as well as the outside of the bottle. And you're basically going to continue to do the same thing with every other bottle. When you begin to wash all of the attachments that come with the bottles, you want to make sure to get well into all of those little crevices as milk and juice and anything else can get caught into those crevices and begin to um, cause bacteria growth. So you wanna make sure that as you wash, everything is very well separated. This is where this small brush attachment comes in very handy and you wanna make sure to get in there very well with it. As you'll be able to see here shortly, this is a, a weird nipple to a sippy cup and I tried to get as much as I could with the big brush but with some nipples such as the, this one, you are going to have to use the small brush attachment. It can be very time consuming to wash these weird nipples but it's necessary to avoid any growth of bacteria. Here's another nipple that when washed it needs a little bit more time. These are Avent nipples and they're wide but they have these weird folds and you'll see here shortly what I mean. With these smaller general type kind of uh, nipples, they're kind of easier to wash. You just take the smaller attachment uh, brush and get in there and try to get that tip. Um, this is the top to um, formula dispenser. And with this, you just try to get as much um, of the formula off as you can. Here's the insert holder of the um, formula dispenser made by Avent, which is great by the way, but when washing it on the inside, it kind of, the formula kind of tends to get caught on those little corners there. So you have to be careful when you wash it. This is a bowl here and can just very simple to wash. Another simple thing to wash here too. And these are these inserts that go inside the Avent bottles. You have to wash those things very well because those rings catch bacteria if you don't wash them, wash them too. 
And now basically all you have to do is rinse the bottles off and everything else off. And I prefer to rinse things off with cold water because for some reason it tends to get the soap suds off a lot quicker. Um, so just make sure that you get all the soap off. Make sure that it's no longer slick to the touch but that uh, once you touch the plastic, when you rub it between your fingers, it feels uh, rough. You'll kind of hear that <laughs> clean sound <laughs> once you um, rinse everything off well. So basically right now you're pretty much done. All you have to do is to set your bottles and the nipples and all the other attachments to dry for some time. Um, I really hope that this was helpful to you. If, if so, please thumbs up, subscribe, and leave comments below. And please feel free to share with your family and friends and any new moms that you might know. All right, you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Thank you.